of all our involuntary actions of our body. So let's just take a little look. Have I got any doctors in the room? Okay, cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Is that triggering? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love doctors. Oh, we just need to expand their minds along with all of ours. So our autonomic nervous system splits up into two different parts. We have a parasympathetic nervous system and a sympathetic nervous system. So this is the part doctors look at, which is very valid. We've got to look at this. This is a really important thing. It's a really important process that goes on in our body. But how does the autonomic nervous system know what to do? And where's all that coming from? What's, there's something that goes on there. Because the, the sympathetic nervous system is taking care of everything pretty much while we're awake. Um, it could let the parasympathetic nervous system take over a lot more when we're awake, which would be really good. But this is our fight and flight responses. This, this helps us meet our deadlines, cross the road, not get run over by the bus. It helps us avoid whatever we need to avoid, you know, that keeps us safe and secure. But it's activated by increasing our heart rate and our blood pressure, and it decreases our digestion, which means it decreases our immune system, decreases our fertility. And basically, if it's in action or activated over a chronic or long-term period of time, we end up with organic change in the body because we can't be like this all the time because it's really stressful and the heart can't handle it. So on this side, we've got resting and digesting. And that's sort of more like looking for homeostatic balance. This is when we can achieve higher thinking. And when we can achieve higher thinking, that word awareness can come back in. We can become more aware of who we are and what we're doing and how we're doing it. So what, how is this, what's going on here? Well, the subconscious is directing the autonomic nervous system. It's this bit that's got all of this stuff going on. You know, this stuff that we're not really aware of and all these perceptions and beliefs and ideas and stuff and things that are based upon this, this um, sort of foggy past story that we've made up. So what we want to do is look at our perceptions, how we perceive the world, because it's our perceptions that's directing the subconscious or guiding the subconscious. And this is where our awareness of our perceptions um, our awareness of our perceptions means that we're connecting more and more into our superconscious which in effect is consciousness itself because it's an aspect of God or our connection to God. And remember as we transcend and include it, we're moving beyond, you're including all that's gone on before. Our awareness of everything that's going on is guiding our perceptions of how we perceive things. And then we're activating whichever side of this we need to go. So just to make that a bit clearer, if, if I'm aware of myself Perceiving anything negative, stress, fear, anxiety, anything negative. People have catastrophically negative expectations of the world are always pretty hyperactive and they're going to experience more anxiety, more stress, more fear, more... Mm, which means the heart rate and the blood pressure is going through the roof. It's going up and we're getting in more trouble. But if I was perceiving more positive peaceful, tranquil, I have a right to be here, I'm safe, I'm taken care of, I'm nurtured, I can look after myself and the whole world is conspiring for me to achieve my goals so there's nothing to worry about anyway, then I'm super calm and relaxed and everything's kind of cool and things are working in my favour, which means I, I've got time to be here. I, I, well, it's not even that I've got time, it's absolutely possible for me to work on higher thinking. So. If a tsunami's coming towards you or an earthquake's happening or something, you're not exactly going to sit down and think, all right, I can meditate my way out of this. <laughs> you know, that's just not going to happen. So we need the sympathetic nervous system to go. But then there's other things happening all around us and you get going fast. 
And you get to the point where you realise, I can't actually think my way out of this situation. I need to actually sit down and meditate on it. Or I just need to sit and be still with it. I need to cultivate...